This is Chuck D. The effects of slavery have had a far-reaching effect on black people in America. The scars run deep, not just the physical, but the emotional and psychological scars as well. And they still hurt today. It's been said before that we can't know where we are going without knowing where we have been. Follow along as Acrobatic takes us on a journey back to how things started for us here and links the effects of that start to what we're still dealing with to this day. It took me six years to build up enough courage to run and only six hours to be facing the barrel of a gun. Not knowing if it's the last time I'd ever see my sons. And that's punishment enough. Still the pain has just begun. A light flashes. Leather from the whip lashes. He's threatening to burn me in my own ashes. Brown skin is now purple. It comes full circle when the pain that I'll endure is the pain I'll have to work through. For now my body lies listless. Wishing that my wife wasn't forced to witness. Wishing she wasn't forced to be master's mistress. Wishing she wasn't forced Forced to be under this distress How did we ever get into this mess? We came from kings Now we wearing rags Eating unmentionable things The stings from the welts in my back Make me want to attack And be a martyr for blacks But then the whip cracks And brings me back to reality Madness, brutality That leads to fatalities And if he knew that I was reading his books And getting smarter It would only make him whip me harder Sometimes I thank God I never had a daughter But even if I did In my death We'd connect through the pain Our soul's kindred Hurricane Katrina and her aftermath have long since been forgotten by many of those unaffected by her wrath felt in 2005. Once again, our people have been displaced by the thousands and were left to fend for themselves while those more fortunate were able to escape. Let's take a look at what may have been going on through the mind of victims of America's most infamous natural disaster. I'm on my rooftop, sick and thirsty, asking God for mercy. Please spare my wife, she's only 30. School buses flow to top murky waters. Could they have used them to at least evacuate our sons and daughters? We sleep because we have no choice. Dehydrated and we can't scream for help because we have no voice. Crying for what the helicopters never dropped us. The stench of bodies in piles is evident for miles. Broke with little hope, laid off with little income. Ghetto life is no joke, I'm broken then some My son is on his stomach, body riddled with heavy shakes I guess we now know what happens when the levee breaks For now my body lies listless Wishing that my wife wasn't forced to witness Wishing she wasn't forced to be without me for Christmas Wishing she wasn't forced to be under this distress How did we ever get into this mess? We came from kings, now I feel I truly know why the cage bird sings He sings to keep his mind off the pain of things But the way that we were left to remain it stings Stings like the welts on the back of my kin, now replaced by the toxic water attacking my skin. I bet the CNN is broadcasting the slaughter as gas prices rise like the water. I thank God I never had a daughter, but even if I did, in my death, we connect through the pain, our souls kindred. Mm -hmm.